before we thought about doing wildlife, we did want to go bush. And at that point, it wasn't about wildlife at all. It was about going off grid and living a bit more simply. And then wildlife happened and simple isn't how it is anymore. <laughs> Being a early childhood teacher, I was very interested in the Montessori style of education. I'm trying to perfect stress-free release using the Montessori system. So they start here in the humidity crib, then they go into this little area which has the pouch stands. When they get a little bit braver, they can go to the deck area. And then when they get really brave and they're starting to learn to hop, they go out the tunnel and into the big outdoor learn to hop area called the hopper. After that, they'd start spending some time outside and then they'd just start going out for a few hours. First of all, just with us, just playing down there with us. And then they start going on their own for a while until they move into the departure lounge. They meet the mob through the fence. The mob will come up and talk to them and they're very good with them. Once they're good with the mob and they know them and they often all sleep either side of the fence but against each other. By that time, it's usually time for the next lot of minis to become majors and it all starts again. You coming out to say hello, birds? You're a bit shy, aren't you? Hello, my girl. You gonna have a yell? Yes, you yeah, is that right? I know, you tell me all about it. It's really hard. I mean, you put your all into it. You really want to see them all out jumping in the bush or coming home because their burrow's flooded. You really want them all to make it and some of them, it, it happens so fast. It happens so fast in some of them that you don't get a chance to breathe before you've had to really go into this intensive care type of situation with them where you're with them all the time and that one is getting all your attention and all your care. And I guess that then they die and yeah, you don't get much time to breathe. Sometimes it's really overwhelming and you have to, um, you have to really ground yourself and pull your support people in. I mean, George and I work, we're a pretty formidable team. Um, and we're a pretty tight-knit unit. And so there's always that help there for each other. But sometimes it's been really hard week for us both. I, I don't sleep very much between, you know, that two and four in the morning where everyone's asleep and it's quiet. And I think that's the time that gives me time to reflect. At that point, I usually write, they have a name, they have an identity, they lived here, they were here. 